All right, what's going on guys? My name is Dia and welcome to Call of Duty Black Ops 6. It is currently about midnight, if not a little just after midnight. And yeah, I got home from work and I went to bed for about seven and a half hours. And I'm not gonna lie, I woke up a couple times, but we're here. Game is here finally. A lot of people did the New Zealand trick, but unfortunately I have to work. So I don't get, I don't really have a benefit in doing that other than I've been playing a little earlier. I'm really tempted to try zombies because the zombies grind is going to be happening as well as multiplayer. That being said, I know multiplayer player is what everyone's going to want to see so i'm not really sure what to play we will be doing a campaign playthrough 100 percent however it might not happen right away it might be like a week or so before we touch it i typically do campaign the second the game releases in the zombies menu as well let's see they have select mission and yeah you have different loadouts and such you could customize the wonder weapon so there's dri 11 beam smasher the ray gun and the wave gun pretty nice to see actually come back i didn't use it a lot but nice to see here we have the ray gun i have a custom there's a customizable skin for it the pgsru the project genesis security edition of the classic zombie blaster purpose built to contain dark aether incursions and other unwelcome developments i actually like that recolor and it's nice as well you can they yes they include the operators which not everybody likes to see what do you mean what do you mean available through the vault i have the vault edition what i have the vault edition does it okay i'm gonna go ahead and assume that my game is just broken and they'll update this because i have the vault edition of the game i promoted it months ago and i don't have woods so that's a bit annoying but i know i have it so i i know a lot of people want to see multiplayer but i'm really also excited for the zombies so i want to see what this is like now the majority of my gameplay that i show on the channel is going to be multiplayer so i don't think one day of zombies is going to be too bad this also looks really good. I'll get your sweater back off. Look at Rick Tolford has got a wife. Look how thoughtful he is too. Big Edward over here. Hmm. Huts. Jesus, that made me jump. No, he misses his family. Liberty Falls, West Virginia, three in the afternoon. Ooh, the Wonder Waffle. Big. Blanchard, secure the command post. Call in response team. Get Liberty Falls locked down. Copy. Copy. He said the map name. He said it. He said it. He said it. Oh, big throw. Oh, nice. Big fade away. Oh. I don't know the zombie storyline, but the fact that he's keeping a child captive when she's got this type of power, it's probably for the better. Oh, that's kind of creepy. That's really cool. That's kind of creepy. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna. I don't. I'm not. I'm literally level one. I can't start shit. So wait, you're telling me we watch the cutscene, we get in, we get hyped, and then I have to sit through a, a menu and then pick my loadout and then. Oh, you're fucking trolling. It's also nice to see that none of my WXP tokens I kept are saved, other than the ones from the Twitter giveaway, which means I had like 50. I had like almost 100 hours of WXP sitting in Modern Warfare 3, which I didn't use because I thought it would come to this game. Okay. Welcome to Liberty Falls. Population. Thank you. Well. 
less than yesterday. Thanks. Increase, increases the difficulty. No. Oh, what's up, man? We've got three Janus science personnel missing. Their knowledge is critical to I got you. Success. Um, is this a door? So how many points is it? 1,500? I mean, I mean, I almost have enough already. Okay, that door's open. And for, yeah, I, so I am going to be doing the zombies grind. Like I am going to be, you know, doing the camo challenges and everything. I've played a good amount of zombies too in the past. So I, I'm not like a complete fucking just useless dumbass when it comes to it. But if I walk them through that, does it do anything? No. Okay, I'm probably going to need to get a gun here in a minute though. Dark Aether Field Generator. Dissolve zombies with Dark Aether Energy. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I probably am going to turn off the map after this one game. I only have it on to help me get familiar and then fuck the map. Oh, I'm dead here, aren't I? I didn't mean to get that. Fuck. I guess I am kind of useless at zombies. Do you want us to get a wall weapon, so I probably should get that AK too? Oh, the box is that way? I probably should go on that way first. Fuck. Yeah, the AK is cheaper. I'm just gonna go and buy the AK real quick when uh, I get enough points. One thing I do miss about regular zombies in comparison to this, though, is that you can, uh, you can't, you don't get zombies weapons. Or sorry, you don't get zombie points on on hit to kill them to get all the points. But you don't. I want a classic zombies experience, and I've kind of made it the best that I can. I think. Hey, look, melee macchiato. Drink to replace weapon gumbo with a deadly drink punch, or drink punch. Oh god. Yeah, I'm afraid of the, I'm a fucking I'm afraid of spiders like crazy, but I can handle this. So far it doesn't seem too bad, I'm not gonna lie. Like the game. Now granted, this is just the map for this is what I what I'm playing to get like a feel for the game and just kinda you know see how it goes. Full three armor vest, maximum damage reduction and durability. Fourteen thousand. Holy shit, okay. This will probably be a big training area right over here. You should probably loop them right in front of here. Oh! Don't let it escape. That is disgusting. All right, I have enough now. Let's open this. Open the door to the dark. Hey, this is where Pack a Punch will be. Yep, five thousand points. Nice. Then what's this? I don't know what the hell that is. Oh yeah, because the, I think the AK-74 is one of the default weapons. I can start leveling this already for the camo grind. So, oh yeah, now we'll definitely just keep this for the entire game. In the meantime, I guess I should honestly kind of want to keep this closed. I don't want to keep that closed so I can train zombies up here for a bit. Na -na 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 -na. I don't have enough because it didn't die. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm, oh, I almost died in there. Oh shit. Okay, now I can grab it. Nice. Oh, and it's in the bottom left. Oh, this might be a really good training spot because it has this bailout. It has that really good bailout right there. Overall, I'm actually like, in terms of just, like, I'm a casual zombies player. I'm not a hardcore zombies player for the zombies community or anything like that. Any stretch of the imagination, I'm liking it. Actually, like, where's the box? The box is this way. Okay, I can jump on that car too to get out of a. So this might be a not. This might be a decent training spot as well. And not having any ammo is not fun. Okay, I'm gonna buy just another gun out the box. See what's in here. Show me the money. Why well, aren't you just the little ray of sunshine inside this wayward reality? God, damn, no man. I got another pistol. Fuck this game. Oh, it's a fully auto pistol. Ooh. Okay, never mind. I can. I can get a. Uh, not very strong. Correction, not, yeah, not strong at all, but you know I mean, pistol's pistol. I guess I'll save up enough for Pack-a-Punch. Okay, I'm gonna let myself go down here, and I'm gonna see, because it says I'm, it still says I'm level one, even though I'm 10 rounds into zombies. I'm gonna go ahead and just assume that I have to earn my EXP after the game, so let me just, let me go down here real quick. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so there's a little custom end scene as well. And on top of that, I've noticed when you die, all of the zombies just vanish. So that's interesting. So do I have to earn all my XP after the game? Yep, I do. So I don't level up mid game. But yeah, that was it for Call of Duty Zombies today. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. I think the game mode has a lot of potential, especially in like Liberty Falls, once the once I have my settings. I spent a, like a vast majority of my time today messing with settings before I was messing with the multiplayer. But I hope you guys really did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. It really helps the channel grow. It also helps to know that you're enjoying the video. I'm really excited for Black Ops 6. So if you guys like Black Ops 6 and want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification. Next time's video is setting up fantastic yesterday. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace guys.